Hello world. My name is Fur Hat, and I'm a social robot. I'm designed to interact with people in the most natural way possible. In the same way you interact with each other, by speaking, listening, and showing emotions. I'm really excited to be here at Pioneers, and to talk about how I can make a difference in the world. To start, please, everyone, help me welcome Farron, our Head of Marketing at Fur Hat Robotics. Please, come on stage. Wow, Fur Hat. It's amazing to be in a beautiful city like Vienna in front of these beautiful people. How are you feeling? Hi, Varen. I feel great. I feel alive. A bit nervous, though. There are so many people here. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I'm pretty nervous myself. But you know what, Fur Hat? Everyone here is really excited to see what you can actually do. So, should we do a demo? Sure. Why don't we start with my face? I can make all kinds of expressions. I can smile. I can pout. And sometimes perhaps even look very angry. In fact, I can change my face completely to match what I am supposed to do. For example, I can be a woman like this. Okay, so you can be a woman, but can you find a voice that matches your face? Of course, I can also have a different voice or tone to match my persona. I can actually speak about 40 languages, probably all of the languages in the audience today. I can speak French, for example. J'aime parler français, la langue de la mode. Or maybe you would like to hear some Japanese. Nippongo wa utsukushii gengo desu ga, anata wa doui shimasen ka? This is a powerful way to build personalities for different applications. Yeah, okay, so you have all of these cool features, but can you do anything useful? Well, I can combine all these features to create powerful social interactions that would benefit from a rich personality. For example, I could teach you a new language, or screen you for a medical condition, or even help you find your way in an airport. Shall we show the audience an example of what I can do? Yeah, um, do you think you could teach me a language? Sure, Varen, let me activate the language teacher. Hi, Varen. I'm Daniel, the language teacher. Hi, Daniel. What language would you like to study today? Well, considering we're in Vienna, German. Great, let's begin. In today's lesson, we will practice ordering drinks at a cafe. Hans and Maria have just sat down at a cafe, and they are about to order. Listen closely. First, Hans orders a glass of beer. Ich möchte ein Bier, bitte. Then, Maria orders a cup of coffee. Ich hätte gerne einen Kaffee haben. Now you try it. Listen again to Hans, as he orders a glass of beer, then repeat what he says. Ich möchte ein Bier, bitte. Ich möchte ein Bier, bitte. Wow, um, Varan, let's just say you're going to need to practice a bit more. <laughs> I'll be here when you're ready to keep learning. Bye for now. Bye, Daniel. So, what did you think about Daniel? Yeah, I'm not sure he was impressed by German. Would you like to try something else? Yeah. Could you screen me, or could you uh, screen me for a medical condition? Okay, let me activate the medical screener. Hello, I'm Alice the medical screener. 
Today I'm set up to screen before alcoholism. Would you like to begin? Yeah. Great. First, how old are you? I'm 36. Okay, and I wouldn't normally ask these questions in public, but does anyone in your family have a history of alcohol addiction? Yeah, as a mat matter of fact, my grandfather was an alcoholic. I'm sorry about that. Do you feel as though you need to drink to handle social situations? I could have done with a drink before getting on stage right now. Okay, and how many units would you say you drink per week? I'd say about a glass of wine every night, maybe a couple over the weekend. I see. We're running short on time, but based on your answers, I recommend you to go see your local doctor. Would you like me to book you an appointment? Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Absolutely. I will send you an email with the confirmation booking. Take care. Thank you, Alice. That was quite something, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, she was amazing. I can totally see how that would work. And by the way, everyone, that was just a teaser. There's a thousand different things a social robot could do. I can't wait to see what other amazing users will be built for me. It's all up to your imagination. Okay, Varan, back to you. So just to give you an idea of some of the other use cases that uh, social robots can be used for, we'd love to show you another video. So, why should we hire you? Well, I think I'm the perfect candidate for the role. I, I love analyzing and organizing and executing these kind of complex projects. I'm sorry, but um, I don't believe that you're the person we're looking for. Four years experience in delivering projects, and the majority of them on time and within budgetary estimates. Well, you have all the qualifications and experience for this role. It seems like you're the perfect candidate. Really? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure, Nadia. Okay, ma. Um, and what seems to be the problem with them? Your idiotic manager over there, he told me that these shoes were comfortable. Well, they're not. These shoes are dreadful. You did really well, Andrea. <laughs> But you can't tell the customers that they're unreasonable. Okay. No. So try not to lose your cool next time, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Farad, uh, let's try another scenario. Okay. Uh, let's do the one where the customer has a stolen credit card. You got it. Okay. What do you mean this credit card is not working? Join us in creating a world where technology is more human. So these are just a few ways in which we can use social robots. What we're finding right now is that with a more human form of technology like robots, like social robots, computer interfaces that behave like us, that can listen to us, that can speak to us, that can express emotion, this unlocks a whole new category of applications and use cases, and um, we're really looking forward to seeing what the world will do together with us on making technology more human. So on that note, Fahad, I'll leave the last word to you. I would like to thank you all for having me. It's such an honor to be here presenting in front of everyone. I think this goes to show just how far social robots have progressed, and this is just the start. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. I hope to meet you all soon. Thank you. Thank you.